This short video will go over what to expect with the Social Security cost of living adjustment for 2022. And if you're not taking Social Security yet, I'm also going to share the new revamped statement that you should now be seeing whenever you check your numbers so that you can know what to expect in case you're still thinking through the ideal strategy on when to start Social Security for you. Very quickly, if I haven't met you yet, I'm Dave Zoller and I own Streamline Financial, a wealth management firm that's been helping people retire for the past 22 years. If you like videos focused just on retirement planning, consider subscribing because we'll be putting out one per week. So over the last 10 years, the average cost of living increase in Social Security has been 1.65%. And the COLA for 2022 was recently announced to be 5.9%. That's actually the largest COLA increase since really 1982. Now, some people are happy about this and then some people are upset, which really can be pr pretty much every decision out there. Someone's gonna be happy, someone's not gonna be happy. But the people who are upset are thinking, well, what about the estimates that Social Security Trust Fund won't be able to pay the full benefit as early as, you know, the early 2030s, really 2032, I think it is. This isn't going to help much if they're they're given this sort of inflation or, or cost of living adjustment. So I guess the government knows that they're going to have to fix Social Security and the trust fund at a later date. But in the immediate term, they have to focus on current inflation. And the fact is, the costs of goods that you're buying and that I'm buying, or really this is about people who are taking Social Security, those costs are going up. I did another video on that news about Social Security running out of money. You can find that in the description or maybe on the screen right now. So the COLA increased because inflation has increased. Now onto the new Social Security statement and what to expect there. Maybe you've seen it already. If you haven't, I'll show you a preview and just a few key parts to look at if you're planning for retirement. As you might remember, the old statement was four pages really of just a lot of text and one section that showed three key numbers, which was your benefit amount at age 62, your full retirement age, and then at age 70. It's now been updated to give you more info and make it a little bit easier to understand. And I'll show you what I mean. The acting commissioner said that this streamlined social security statement contains clear messaging and makes it easier to find information at a glance. So here's an example of, of what it's gonna look like. It's really gonna be two pages. And on the first page, this part could be helpful seeing your full retirement age. And then also these, pers these estimates are based on your earnings to date and assume you continue to earn this amount or whatever it is for you until you start your benefits. So that's helpful. And then this is helpful. This is more information than before. They used to give us age 62, full retirement age and age 70. Now we can see what the expected benefit each year might be. And then on the second page, it's got your earnings record like as before. And then this is interesting, the taxes paid. Well, maybe that's not so interesting. Maybe it is for uh, fellow nerds like myself. So you should be able to access your updated Social Security statement at the Social Security Administration website. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please like and subscribe, and then I'll see you in the next retirement video. Take care.